Hi, Trekkie2409 here, showing you how to get these advanced obelisk swarmers from the new feature episode Sphere of Influence on Star Trek Online. I've seen a lot of people asking about how to get them, so I decided to make this video. So, let's jump into the mission and I'll show you where they are. Okay, so here we are. This is where in the mission that you get the advanced obelisk swarmers in the space labyrinth. There's also an accolade you can get here by doing that. It's called Leap of Faith. It takes you to the furthest point you've gotten, which as you can see is the end part of this the end of the labyrinth part <clears throat> as I've already went through it and opened up all the consoles ok so here we are back at the beginning just turn the volume down so you run through this area on all these walkways to read these bits which I've already done so I can read them again that's Earth um, but to get the swarmers you have to go down each of the alternate paths like this and read the console that comes up And then once you've done that, there's a hidden compartment in each of them, which I'll leave there just now. A lot of running about to do, unfortunately, but Worf's voice acting makes it okay. <laughs> There's Kronos. <coughs> the um, omnidirectional anti proton beam that you get is. It's, it's okay for a turret, except that it's anti, anti proton, so it'd be better with critical hit chance. That's our console which you can't activate because I already got this swarmers out of the hidden compartment. But you just activate that. And the, the warp core that you get from the mission is only really good in my opinion for science ships. for the boost to auxiliary power other than that it's pretty useless especially for attack captain ok and here we are I believe that's Iconia planet there from season 2, episode 11 of Next Generation, called Contagion. This is the last, no, second last console that you need to get. They're not, as I said, they're not showing up as being usable because I've already done it and gotten hidden compartments for the fighters too. And this is the last one. And then once... Oh, can use that one. There's two. And then once you've gotten that, you'll get an accolade called Reconnaissance for getting them all. And... I'll go back to the beginning. And... 
show you the hidden compartment again that you get the fighters from. You know, I already showed you. Hmm. Okay, here we are. Almost back at the first alternate console. With the hidden compartment for the Blisks Warmers. Which I believe are in all of them. And you can see how many you get from the mission there. Plenty. Six. When you'll need two. Before I go, um, I noticed people asking how you get the third set piece item on the console. It only comes on the advanced bubble carrier from the Lobby store. 800 Lobby crystals it costs. So. I don't think it's worth it, personally, especially since the console can only be used on the obelisk. Um, if you have any questions about the mission or anything, post a comment. And if you need help with your build or that, um, why not post a video response? <coughs> and I'll see if I can help. Okay. That's all, that's how you get the advanced obelisk swarmers.